Have you ever wondered if there's a place where planets might outshine our beloved Earth? Imagine a place where the sky might be a different color, the oceans deeper, and the mountains taller. Our cutting-edge telescopes are uncovering the hidden mysteries of the universe. And you won't believe what they have found. So let's get started. Just 30 years ago, the universe's secrets were locked away, concealing other planets. And now, as of August 11th, 2023, we've uncovered 5,496 confirmed exoplanets found in 4,091 planetary systems, with 927 of these systems hosting more than one planet. The primary contributor to these discoveries has been the Kepler Space Telescope. Additionally, there are 1,984 potential exoplanets awaiting confirmation from Kepler's first mission, along with 977 candidates from its second light mission. But as time passed, an additional 4,438 candidates were identified through the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, mission. Initially, we spotted large gas planets, but now we're discovering smaller, intriguing ones. Over 50 exoplanets resemble Earth, and 800 are similar in size. Imagine a staggering 350 quintillion gallons of Earth's ocean, a vast liquid treasure trove hinting at thriving ecosystems below. While we're still searching for planets in the habitable zone, our space missions are succeeding, revealing new solar systems with potential homes for extraterrestrial beings. And guess what? We have found a nearby star system that might host life. Meet Gliese 667, or GJ 667 for space enthusiasts, a triple star system in Scorpius, just 23 light years away. It has a group of potentially habitable planets in the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold, just right for life. It is 5.5 times Earth's mass and has a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, 392 degree Fahrenheit, and orbits its star in seven days cycles. It's 3.8 times Earth's mass, 1.8 times its size, and orbits in 28 days. Despite its host being a red dwarf, the habitable zone is cozy, between 0.11 and 0.23 AU from the star, unlike Earth's 1 AU. First, there's GJ667A, a sun-like K-type star, but more orange-red, emitting only 12% of the sun's light. Then there's the shy sidekick, GJ667B, 69% of the sun's mass and 5% of its light. The star of the show is Gliese 667C, a small M-type red dwarf, one-third the sun's size and radiating only 1.4% of its light, with a cool surface temperature of 3,775 Kelvin. Scientists first thought there were three planets around GJ667C, but after closer examination, they might have found a treasure trove of six planets. And guess what's even more exciting? Up to four of them could be just right for extraterrestrial neighbors. Now let's talk about gravity. Because GJ667CC's pull is 60% stronger than Earth's, making you feel heavier. Imagine 75 kilograms turning into 120 kilogram there. The atmosphere's thicker there. In the habitable zone, this exoplanet tests life's adaptability. Imagine diving into Gliese 667CC's atmosphere. If it's Earth-like, the pressure's a bit higher. If Venus-like, pressure rivals ocean depths. Yet life could adapt, thriving in low light and embracing pressure. Gliese 667 CE and CF are cosmic twins. Thick air keeps them cozy. But the star? Three habitable planets. Solar vibes vary, from modest to dazzling. But how is Gliese 667 C's climate? Water vapor heats close planets like a blanket. Heavyweight habitable zone champs resist the moist greenhouse effect. There are seven planets around Gliese 667 C. Planets F and E rock the habitable zone, while D's tail is a mystery. Gliese 667C hosts a lineup, CC, CF, CE, and maybe CD. M dwarf stars like Gliese 667C often host planet-packed parties, potential homes for life. These rock stars make up 70% of our galaxy's stars, offering numerous potential abodes. But that's not all. There is a planet named Kepler 452b that is taking the spotlight, stealing the show as the most Earth-like planet in the galactic neighborhood. But why all the hype, you ask? Let's break it down, shall we? We are always trying to find planets that are like Earth, ones that could be almost like our cosmic twins with similar rocky surfaces. It's like finding a planet that's a lot like ours, born around a star that's a lot like our sun and orbiting in the just right Goldilocks zone where conditions might be perfect for life. Now Kepler 452b is a planet that's a lot like Earth. Sunshine, check. Temperature, check. 
photosynthesizing plants double check. This exoplanet has a more lush atmosphere, water, and lively volcanoes. Earth's cousin with a cosmic twist. Kepler-452 is much like our sun, but it is 1.5 billion years older. Kepler-452b is in the habitable zone, like Goldilocks' perfect spot. Its energy is Earth-like, with a bit more solar power. And guess what? Kepler-452b spent 6 billion years in the habitable zone, giving it extra time for the ultimate life experiment. If its carbon dioxide levels resemble Earth's, scientists say it's potentially habitable. But it has a stronger gravity. If we step onto Kepler-452b, initially, our Earth bodies might feel slow, but our muscles would grow. With time, our bones would toughen, beating gravity. Now, in 500 million years, Kepler-452b might face a greenhouse effect like on Venus. But that's a distant future. We've got time to settle, make it home, and celebrate. Now let's talk plans. Kepler-452b is far, 1,800 light years away. But what if we used our fastest spacecraft, racing toward the sun at a mind-blowing 120 miles per second, yet it's moving only at 0.063% of light speed. Imagine a direct journey from Earth to Kepler-452b, 1,800 light years away, but patience is required, as it's 2.8 million years of cruising. Next up meet Kepler-186f, an Earth-sized gem 500 light years away in Cygnus. It's the first such exoplanet found in a cozy habitable zone. Kepler-186f is a tad larger than Earth, with a 130-day orbit, getting just a third of Earth's sunlight, giving it a Mars-like feel, whereas Kepler-186, a red dwarf star with impressive solar flares, but Kepler-186f, its planet, might escape the worst due to the star's cooler vibe than the sun. Now about life on this planet, liquid water might be there. Its icy appearance hosts a dense atmosphere. Cosmic climate control turns cold into potential warmth for water. Meet the Kepler-186 siblings, B, C, D, and E, tiny compared to Earth, and but they are orbiting quickly. Now there is a 780,000 year journey to Kepler, 186F. But what if, in 550 years, our descendants use a fast spacecraft to land on Kepler 186F? But Kepler 186 has a steady tilt, giving it seasons like Earth. Think of it as a cosmic calendar lasting millions of years. An unstable tilt can ruin a world. Look at Mars. Now let's talk Goldilocks, finding the perfect place. Some secrets are cosmic luck, like Kepler 1649C, the maverick that surprised us in 2020. It was an underdog, but we uncovered its real identity. Still, its secrets, like its atmosphere, puzzle us. Yet with 75% of Earth's light and a 19.5-day orbit, it might feel cozy. Kepler 186F, without heat-trapping gases, could chill at minus 38 degree Fahrenheit. Earth, without those gases, would drop to minus 18 degrees Celsius. Now meet Kepler 186F's companions. Trappist 1F, Trappist 1D, T Garden C, and TOI 700D. They're stylish cosmic cousins, flaunting size and temperature in our space neighborhood. Now, Kepler 1649C, the cool combo champ, seems distant at 470,000 years of travel. But one day, it could be our dream trip. Kepler 1649C stands out with Earth like size and temps, nestled in its star's comfort zone. And Kepler 1649B, 8% bigger than Earth, snuggling closer to its red dwarf star. Kepler 442b, 1,100 light years away in Lyra, completes laps every 112 days. Cosmic closeness doesn't harm neighbors, thanks to Kepler 442b's cosmic luck. Close orbits usually mean one side is always lit and the other in darkness, but Kepler 442b defies it, avoiding the tricky gravitational range. Its cosmic guardian, Kepler 442, ensures tranquility from 0.4 astronomical units away. K-type stars, like Kepler-442, are cosmic Goldilocks, balanced and numerous nearby. These stars last for billions of years, while our sun's a sprinter at 10 billion. Plus, K-types age slowly, gaining only 10 to 15% glow. Now let's talk about Kepler-442b, a contender for habitable stardom. Astronomers judge planets using the Comparative Habitability Index, which is a cosmic checklist. Kepler-442b scores around 0.84 and shows signs of potential life. But it's shy from telescopes, far away, needing 1.7 million years for a probe to reach it. Yet cosmic innovation shines. It gets the proper sunlight, possibly nurturing a lively biosphere, soon visible to the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, 
to Kepler-62 system, where Kepler-62e and 62f shine. Kepler-62b, 62c, and 62d are hot, but 62e and 62f are the party hosts. Water-rich ranked 0.83 and 0.69 on Earth Similarity Index. 62e orbits in 122 days, while 62f takes 267 days. 62e boasts warm, humid weather, even at the poles. And here's the twist. A moon might orbit 62e, elevating its habitability. Now, sending cosmic messages is cool, but it takes time. On Parker Solar Probe, a message to Kepler 62e and 62f arrives in 1.85 million years. Radio signal? Just 1,200 years. Kepler 62e and 62f aren't Earth's twins, but who knows? Evolution can surprise. Our blue planet transformed, and so can they. Half of the sun-like stars could have habitable planets, maybe neighbors. But when do you think we will discover a nearby habitable world? A decade? A century? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. We would love to read your thoughts. With that said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more.